The EV scene is stirring with turmoil as General Motors shocks the world with a sudden reversal on electric vehicles. CEO Mary Barra's announcement has sent ripples through the industry, flipping GM's strategy back to the realm of gasoline cars, leaving EV manufacturers fuming and bewildered. But why this abrupt shift? It's a question echoing across the automotive landscape. After pouring billions into EV ventures, why the sudden about face? Rumors swirl, speculation runs wild. Is there more to this than meets the eye? Is there a hidden agenda lurking in GM's decision to resurrect the gas-powered giants? But reality had other plans. The road to EV supremacy was anything but smooth. The Bolt, touted as their flagship EV, stumbled out of the gate, plagued by production woes and delivery delays. And those high-tech, Altium-powered EVs? Barely making a dent in the market, with sales figures struggling to breach 1,000 units. Then, in a jaw-dropping twist, GM CEO drops the bombshell, a return to the fossil-fueled past. Gas cars, it seems, still hold sway, outselling EVs by a wide margin. Meanwhile, EVs face a litany of issues, from exploding batteries to lackluster interiors, tarnishing their once shiny alert. And if that wasn't enough, GM CEO isn't mincing words. In a recent earnings call, she admitted defeat conceding that GM may never topple Tesla or turn a profit in the EV arena. It's a bitter pill to swallow for a company that once bet big on an electric future. Not only did GM face the uphill battle of EV woes, but they also got sucker punched in the United Auto Workers strike, costing them a jaw-dropping $750 million in just one grueling week. To recoup losses, they were forced to offload their EVs at fire sale prices bleeding more than a billion dollars in the process. It was a financial gut punch of epic proportions. Now, imagine the CEO flipping the script entirely, giving EV makers a proverbial middle finger and telling them to hit the road. And can you blame them? Who's willing to shell out upwards of sixty dollars to $80,000 for a ride that struggles to go the distance in winter or tow a trailer? Certainly not the average Joe. And let's talk about the sweet spot price range of thirty dollars to $40,000. Yeah, that's a pipe dream. With recent EV fires making headlines and a laundry list of other issues plaguing the industry, folks are ditching electric dreams for the reliability of gas-powered rides. But here's the kicker. Mary Barra, the GM bigwig, straight up admits that Tesla, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the EV world, is running laps around them. With superior tech, booming profits, and unmatched scale, Tesla's got GM playing catch-up like a kid in a game of tech. So what's GM's Hail Mary play? Back to basics, baby. Gas cars. And you know what? It's paying off. Last quarter, GM outsold Ford, snagging the coveted title of America's top car maker. Turns out, there's still plenty of love for the good old gas guzzlers in this world. Mary Barra's words hit like a sledgehammer. The dream of affordable EVs might remain just that, a dream for the next decade. And GM isn't sailing solo through this stormy sea of uncertainty. Ford, a heavyweight in the automotive realm, is also feeling the scorch of the EV market's downturn. But GM's tribulations don't stop there. They delivered a staggering blow by axing a colossal $5 billion deal with Honda, dashing hopes of producing over 400,000 EVs. It's a knockout blow that reverberates through the industry. And the hits keep coming. GM's ambitious plans to ramp up production of electric trucks like the Silverado EV at their Michigan plant? Slam the brakes on that. Now, they're singing a different tune, citing capital concerns and aligning with fluctuating EV demand. Translation? They're encountering more roadblocks than a rush hour commute. And the drama isn't just confined to American soil. Across the Pacific and China, GM faces an uphill battle. Sales are plummeting, and they're struggling to keep pace with local rivals in the cutthroat EV market. While a competitor sprints ahead, GM finds itself choking on their exhaust fumes, trailing in the race for EV supremacy. They were all geared up to churn out a fleet of these electric beauties, but now they're slashing those numbers in half. Turns out, the demand just isn't there. Both automotive giants, GM and Ford, were sprinting towards the EV finish line, pouring billions into producing electric rides. But now, it's like they've hit a concrete wall. 
Sales are sputtering. Production plans are being tossed out the window and it's all spiraling into chaos. Now let's talk about the laundry list of problems plaguing these EVs. Firstly, there's the alarming issue of fires. People have tragically lost their lives due to EVs bursting into flames unexpectedly. Even GM wasn't spared. With one of their EVs involved in a fatal accident, dragging a woman along for a mile. And Tesla, the titan of the EV world, isn't immune either, with numerous cases of their EVs going up in smoke. But wait, there's more. These state-of-the-art EV batteries struggle to handle the cold. When temperatures drop, battery range takes a nosedive faster than your phone battery on a bad day. Charging in chilly weather? Forget about it. You'll be waiting indefinitely just to get enough juice to make it to the next charging station. And here's the kicker. Reliability, or lack thereof. EVs are racking up repair issues like they're going out of fashion. And if your battery decides to call it quits, be prepared to empty your pockets for a replacement as expensive as buying a whole new car. It's a tough pill to swallow for EV enthusiasts hoping for a smoother ride into the future. Even the Biden administration is fully on board, setting up stricter emissions norms and basically telling car makers to go electric or go home. It's like they're saying, forget gas cars, EVs are the future, man. But right now, that future is not looking pretty fiery. And let's not even get started on the cost. EVs were supposed to save us money, right? Well, between the explosions, repair bills, and playing hide and seek with charging stations, the savings are nowhere to be found. So what's the bottom line here? EVs were supposed to be our ticket to a cleaner, greener future. But right now, they're looking more like a ticking time bomb on wheels. The dream of a world running on electric might just be that. A dream. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm all for electric cars and cleaning up the planet. But you've got to admit, this whole situation has a whiff of backpedaling. Just a few years ago, GM's bigwigs were all about ditching gas cars, saying they were just a pit stop on the way to the EV future. Now, suddenly, they're back in the gas game. It's like watching someone dig through their closet and pull out their old flip phone because the latest smartphone keeps crashing. And the timing couldn't be more peculiar, especially with EV demand hitting some major snacks. GM's had a rough ride with recalls and some less than stellar launches like the Hummer EV and the Blazer EV. Now, with the EV market not looking as rosy as they hoped, GM is reverting back to gas cars. It's a big reality check for the whole auto industry. EVs clearly have issues, and maybe we aren't as ready as we thought we were. Brands are finally starting to understand this, but when is the government going to get it? It's a question that begs an answer as we navigate this turbulent road towards a cleaner future. So what's your take on the future of electric cars? Tell us in the comments below, and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.